Hmm. Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna be watching Azeroth on Fire. Oh my god. World of Warcraft Classic 1 through 60 by Uber Danger. What? What happened to Azeroth? 3 to 1. Ah! Oh, everything. <laughs> this is goddamn. Everything just broke on my OBS. Give me a second. Holy heavens. Sorry. Let's go in the kind of 3, 2, 1, go. Over 250 hours ago, I set out to do one thing and one thing only. Play WoW Classic to a point where I'd have fair grounds on which to review the game. A feat yeah. that eludes me to this very day. Personally, I'd argue that at the very least, I'd have to reach the max level and kill the final boss. That is not even the end game. <laughs> that is just the beginning of the end game. Jack. Okay, that, that makes sense. That's a good idea. This music, I know this music from somewhere. Have to reach the max level and kill the final boss. I think that's a strong case for a bare minimum. So how exactly did I end up losing all my gold in an Iron Forge gambling ring after being roped into a terrible race what? war? Well, today's tragic for bare minimum. So how exactly did I end up losing all my gold in an Iron Forge gambling What the fuck is this? What? How? How gambling in World of War? What the fuck happened? ring after being roped into a terrible race war. Well, Got them. today's tragic tale starts with the release of Phase Two. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that changes everything. You need to buy that trinket from the Alliance Quartermaster, bro. Oh my fucking god. That is horrifying! <laughs> okay, this is bleach! Okay, for a second I was like, I heard this before! This is fucking bleach! God damn! God damn, One yeah. simple change. Killing other players now grants you honor points. The higher your honor rank, the better the rewards. As a new player, I assumed that was just a minor patch and nothing to really <laughs> no. worry about. Yet I logged Not on PvP. to see Azeroth on fire. The entire beautiful world they'd built, completely ruined. Not really, come on, it's not cataclysm yet. Azeroth on fire. The entire beautiful world they'd built, completely it's ruined. It's just PvP. That's not my opinion either, just objectively. Here's an example. I want to go questing in Western Plaguelands. After dying a <laughs> don't amount just of times, <laughs> I finally managed to complete oh my God. one single quest. Then on the way to the NPC, I die a couple more times. No big deal. Except yeah, because you're trying to solo level at when board PvP just begins. Like, bro, you need to guild up and go with groups. Like, seriously, there is no other way to do this shit. And the game is gonna be awful and awful and awful for you if you just solo try to solo level in a poor PvP fucking event. One single quest. Then Jesus on the way to the Christ, like level 62 more times. No big Losers, Except, all of them. Oh, they have now killed the guy who gave me the quest. All right, <laughs> this is no Fuck. good. We'll have to fly away. Except they killed the flight master. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, god damn, this, this is awful. Us to actually experience what the WoW community calls. Bro, I feel so bad for him. Because that is basically killing the infrastructure for people to move cities, even when the city is full of PvP. For people who don't want to fucking do PvP. <laughs> they shouldn't have joined that fucking real uh, PvP, this though. Us to actually it, I feel bad for him, though. The WoW community calls the meaningful journey. It's painful, Whilst sadistic I journey. Enjoy the part where you're riding through breathtaking areas that clearly stood the test of time, and yeah. even 15 years after its release, still manages to captivate oh the my player, God. and coupled with the legendary music, immerse them into this beautiful world. Two percent of the time. <laughs> Wait, that was it. <coughs> that ma that actually ma makes sense. That, that that tiny part is the breathtaking music and the environment that passed the test of that fucking <laughs> that is crazy. I don't enjoy 98% yeah. of the time where you want to get into Black Rock depths, but now they don't just kill the flight master, they'll also camp the actual spirit healer and indefinitely kill you, forcing you to log off and come back at 4 a.m. to have some shot at returning to Ironforge like a pussy. Or you could do what I did. And we'll get them to have some shot at returning to Iron. This is just bullshit. Like, 
He's 68, 58, and he's just doing this. I mean, 68 doesn't make any Iron sense. Forge, but... like a pussy. Or you could do what I did. But we'll get to that later. What the Perhaps fuck did you, you do? Go to Dorn. Tough shit, homie. Because God. you'll run into a field platoon of horn players who all claim that they're the captain now, forcing you to take the much more inefficient route. Oh, than this sailing is so bad. Now, oh my God, that is. Oh fucking, I hate it when that happens. And you're the last one and you can't get on the fucking ship. And especially in PvP. Now, forcing you to take the much more inefficient route by sailing to Darkshore. Now you could Timeless. teleport to Teneris once every six hours as an artisan engineer. But that would leave your endearing, primal, aggressive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot she's a fucking degenerate. Top shelf <laughs> certified five star Banging. Wow, GF on her own with all these horde players. And speaking of Amiri, she remains an absolute animal at this game. Not just has she been sending me care packages. Not just does she literally come out of nowhere when I'm about to be killed without having communicated to me in any way that she was going where I was or how long. Holy she was shit! Moving. Yeah, fuck you, Marlock. Uh, Get um, she also got her enchant <laughs> to run <laughs> to 300 just to enchant all my gear. She's perfect. But enough about my e dating. Let's get back to my e misery. <laughs> the world gonna rise. A regular PvP server can in a single day turn into an RP nightmare hellscape. The yeah. horde were locking us out of. Bro, why are you again in the middle of nowhere? This is where you need to be. If it's your groups. Go kill everything! A regular PvP server can in a single day turn into an RP nightmare Why is it really dead? The horde were locking us out of progressing through the endgame content and it was showing in the cities. This guy in Ironforge was apparently the new king of the alliance. Everyone <laughs> followed him in a train and started oh my spreading God. lies about how he gave gold to everyone following him. It was in the midst of this chaos that... That is a lot. The hundred golden classic is a lot, actually. That I seized it the moment and rose to the occasion. I started advertising in the trade chat, pretty much begging for higher level players to carry me through a dungeon I hadn't yet tried. Upper Black Rock Smart. Spire, which is technically a small raid designed to be completed by ten players rather than five. Any seasoned WoW player will know that at level 53, you're absolutely not up to the task. <laughs> no. But I was an unknowing fool. When Bro, uh, okay, to be fair, he couldn't quest, so the dungeon running is the only place that the when PvP doesn't gonna me, fuck I him said, up. Say not a word. I can sense why you have come. You have come to carry me through Black Rock Spire. What Rubik the laughed fuck? at me and proclaimed that he came to call me a milk boy and laugh at my res sickness. Fuck After you, 20 minutes of cringy role playing, I had gathered a full party for Upper Black Rock Spire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead, man. I actually had to join the train of lunatics. Oh for my god, to listen to me. I don't know how that works, but anyway, it's RP, man. RP is a very sad. 60. After a handful of unavoidable deaths and a few that could have been avoided had I gone the right <laughs> way, I fucking horn again, bro. Do your own dungeons. Why are you camping? I mean, it's PvP. That's the thing. If you're in PvP realm. Nothing matters. Finally entered Upper Black Rock Spire, but not before Cybox insists that we remake the party with him as the leader. Again? Like the psychopath control freak he is. He probably wanted to like invite some other people and reset and change the difficulty maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Like you are not the most competent leader, bro. As much as I love your videos, <laughs> this is not a good idea to have. You didn't. Oh, you my run God. into these people all the time in WoW, and unlike the friendly people, these guys actually have their shit together. So hmm. I saw this as an absolute win, 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 win. I entered the first room of mobs, and with my level 53 aggro range, continued to immediately pull every single mob. It's not your aggro range. You're not even have enough damage to create any threat, anyways. You just have to wait. If if any, if everyone at the start of every boss pull waits like a minute, like the tank has enough threat now. Don't do anything. Don't even touch the boss. Don't even think the buff. Don't heal. Don't do anything. Just let the tank do its thing. And then, like, look at them. They're all dying here. Get obliterated. God. And probably the worst wipe I've ever caused. 
Then Fucking these idiot. level 60 psychos actually started domesticating <laughs> me. They put me on the bench. They timed me out. My only privilege was watching them from afar oh, whilst they me. cleared out the mobs. That is until we fought the beast, where I had the brilliant idea of helping my squad what? by using what? the Nomi Shrink Ray, which has a tiny chance of backfiring. <laughs> Why would you do that on a 62? <laughs> like, it's not gonna do anything. I think I got a Nomi Shrink Ray this time. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, it worked. Oh, that's not what I'm Everybody else? Holy oh, shit! Oh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Oh, that's awful. Mm. D fuck you. Oh my god, dude. That's such a bad thing. Ho okay, hopefully, they I mean, to be fair, they're getting reprimanded by being in the video, but that is such an awful thing to do. Especially if, if they're doing it for you and you're like getting benched. <laughs> the rest of the dungeon went pretty smooth. There were two worthwhile drops I could use from the dungeon. Again, that is not a good item for you. You're level 40 now. You need plates. Plates, plates, plates. The Blade Master leggings that Amiri rolled two numbers higher than me for. Listen, again, you're, she's a rogue. She needs that leather. She, uh, she, the leather is the only thing she can get, man. After I accidentally didn't see her message telling me she really needs them Jonathan. and the Brigham girdle. When my trustworthy Ooh, oh, oh, that is a shit you fucking want, man. Why are you going on the not belt? On it. It's to not roll on belt. I have been trying to get it for a long time. I no, knew it was a godly him. item. So you already know yeah, I did that shit with a solid 95. Fuck everyone else. Yeah, that shit is for you, man. Not gonna lie, it was mega boring to stand back and get carried without lifting a finger. I don't know how Asmongold does it eight hours a day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For a second, I was going to say, like, yeah, okay, you, 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 I mean, yeah, it is ninja rolling. If you're getting carried and you're not, you haven't paid any gold to get carried, you you shouldn't really roll for any item and either because it's, you're fucking but yeah that is like asmong golding isn't it when he just watches videos and people farm mounts for him that's actually pretty awesome it was one silver lining i jumped on discord with a couple of these people and they were actually pretty chill they taught me something that would forever change how i play world of warcraft what? death rolling death rolling Huh? The Azeroth equivalent to playing dice. It's very simple. You bet gold against each other and you slash roll 10 times the amount you bet. Then your opponent rolls the number you got. Oh, is this the gambling part? Got, oh no. And the first person to hit one loses. To begin with, I had misunderstood the rules because I am a fucking idiot. I rolled a hundred on my first try and assumed that these oh. guys were scammers <laughs> when they didn't give me any money. What went completely over my head though was Bob Gnarly running into unfathomable bad luck. His oh my god! So he was so he put oh, he rolled a one under hunt and one to a thirty three. That is like that is okay. Something's wrong with okay. Camera should be working again. Sorry again. But yeah, so that is like what? 0.3%? That is extreme bad luck. Getting Holy one shit. That's rough, buddy. Whew. Once I properly God. understood the game, they told me tales of a secret gambling ring in Ironforge and one legend who was undisputedly the king of gambling. I had to know what this was all about. Okay. I went to Ironforge and this was the first time Bro, I... Bro, it's like, it's holy shit. It's like literally... Yeah, underground casino. I would meet Compound, who I'd describe as a man with a severe... The thing, bro, I heard about death rolling. I had no idea what it is. I just knew that people in the guild were talking about that it's banned on Turtle Bow. And why is it not banned in, like, Blizzard? So, like, some shit like that. I had no idea what it was. Like, this is just Compound, insane. Who I'd describe as a man with a severe problem. He'd been standing right here several hours a day for nearly two weeks, and his name preceded him for a very what good reason. The fuck? If you were confirmed to be an honorable gambler who pays up, he would take you up on any bet, any amount of time. Like his guild is oath, so that makes a lot of sense. And he'd cleaned out countless people. To show you guys that I didn't fake what you're about to see, I'm gonna walk you through every single bet I made. But just be warned, this isn't happy hour. I'm not oh, fucking no. around. I'm goddamn serious. <laughs> what do you mean? I start out with 115 gold and then immediately.
That's okay. Let's holy shit. So okay, so this is like his way of darkness into gambling addiction. Cut this whole part oh, out no. of the script because I wrote way too much. <laughs> okay. All you need to know is I was down to a fraction of my starting bankroll and decided to put it on the line. Go the distance. Holy gold, shit. Zero silver All and in. 79 copper. Who wants to go the distance? Tonus takes me up on the offer. I roll a one, after which I <laughs> What the fuck, dude? What the fuck was the point of the music? <laughs> I painstakingly give away all my wealth. Idiot. I have nothing. Yeah, never go on. <laughs> left. Oh my Not god. One thing. This is where I started rising to glory. I'm goddamn serious here. I got scared. What, what happened? Tony had rolled a four. Oh, you fold the tree. Ah, oh, fold. Fold, four. roll. And okay. I somehow missed it and rolled a three. Okay, makes These sense. People, myself included, were absolutely goddamn serious about the roll. All right. So we redid right. the roll. I land on a three. He lands on a three. I land on a two. And boom. There it is. And you know me. I had but one thing. Bro, 63. That's less than five minutes. To say, sixty-six gold, one silver, and fifty-eight copper. Who <laughs> wants again? To go go in. I don't know what the fuck. Me for a dim-witted casual and rolls one in thirty-six. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. Baby. We want it all back. Oh my again. god! You actually, hundred and twenty-six. Holy shit, bro! How long has it been in the game? That's four minutes! He made $66 in four minutes. Dollars, gold. But there's no reason to stop when you're on a roll. So it was time for some big dick bets. Me and Tonus went in for the big bucks with a hundred gold death roll. I roll 719 and by some unholy. Tonus just wants that 33 fucking gold back. That's the thing! That's the fucked up part about the fucking gambling, especially in a social group. Everyone wants that money back. You want your losses back! But you're not gonna get them. You're gonna get loads more. These motherfuckers. Oh, this is awful. Three, then I saw the two and I knew. Oh. I knew it was all over. Oh! Thomas rinses me for a hundred gold. Now we're down to twenty-six. I immediately could be went worse. all in against Dr. Zeta. On a 420 roll, I start us on a 6. Menacing. But not as terrifying as the two that Dr. Zeta puts down. Like a primal animal, I run it back and lock out on the fish. Okay, holy which shit. Zeta fails that same coin flip. He even added Brilliant. an extra gold Brilliant. to trade. Thank you. Sportsmanship. But when you think about it, I just spent an hour and a half just to bankrupt myself. It's really not a good look. Anyways, yeah. I lose 20 to yeah. Zeta, and this is where Compound gets overconfident. You see, he wanted to be the one to clean me out. He put his 66 gold against my 33, an offer I simply could not refuse. Never. He rolls a 5, I roll a 4, and he rolls a 1. <laughs> All right. We're back yes. at 100 gold. Thank lose you. Five to Codex, get out. To get out. Why are you? Bro. Bro, get out. The moment you win two times, three times, get out because you're gonna, you're on a roll. He rolls a one. All right. We're back at 100 gold. Lose five to Codex. And then we take a portal to Darnassus for a change in scenery. I roll for 50 with Zeta. Good. I win 50 gold from Zeta. I lose 25 to Tonus and decided to quit while I was ahead. Nice. So All right. There we go. Problem with some of the people I was gambling with, which I'll tell you oh, about no. in due time. But here's what <laughs> happened when I inevitably continued death rolling for gold. I win 10 gold against Codex. He bumps it up to 20 and I tell him to make it 25. In three rolls, that one was a quickie. We go for 15, nice. and this simply... So, okay, how many wins do you have? I wish there was, like, a win-lose, like, counter, so we can actually understood better. And this simply wasn't Codex Day. I hit a two on his two, and it's been a pleasure yeah. doing business with you. Now Congratulations, man. Holy shit. <laughs> 170 gold again you lost a lot more I lose 20 to ari after which i lose 20 to cj on his first death roll after i just taught him the game that's how depraved i am the usual gambling clique had left and i <laughs> he turned 
runs into compound, just standing in the middle of Iron Forge, bro, teaching other people how to fucking gamble them, lose their call. This is just fucked I up. I actually had to rope other people into it to keep gambling. Jesus I Christ. I went over Codex with a bit of nutty luck. I went 50 from Codex. Codex wins 50 from me. Jupes comes in and drops 15. Ooh. I grab 10 from Codex. Nice. If I like a clean number, we roll for 11. Throw in another 10 that puts us at 180. I'm starting to think this is Holy skill shit. and not luck. Win 15 gold. Now it's time to go big. Fifth Bro, he's he almost 200. I hit four. He hits four. I hit three. He hits two. I hit two. <laughs> he hit two. And God fucking damn it, I hit one. Oh. After losing 50, I win 25. After winning 25, I lose 25. Codex. This is just mastered, not keeps good. Keeps winning these coin flips and takes another 20 from me. Now I've spent three hours and I'm exactly where I started. Okay, that is that is absolutely net negative. Get out. Get out. I mean, to be fair, he started at 30 gold or something. 29 or something. So I said, fuck it. I'm all in. The numbers got lower Please. and lower until June. Oh my God. Five. <laughs> I win the 80% RNG and sadly... He couldn't muster the luck to win a one out of three. That's right, bitch! We double up. Holy shit! We take 25 from Codex, lose 15 to El Hapos, and brutally give up 60 gold to Not Meta. That's good. Get out. Which should be his compound's alt. Another thing to note is that they came back to death roll at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Why? Why are people so desperate for dopamine? Dopamine. 6, it's 6 a.m. right now, so I'm not I'm not one of those people. I, I'm gonna go level up, but again, like in hinterlands. No, no, we're not going near near Iron Forge ever. Compound and I roll. This for is just gold. too much. We drop the six 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 in the chat. After which I roll a five. Compound rolls a three. Yours truly takes it down to a two. <sighs> now we're in fifty fifty territory. Uh, he actually. Bro. Puts a two down. I, I don't like that. I don't like the look of that at all. So what I do is I actually also put a two down. Oh! But then at the same time fart in his face. <laughs> you already know what the fuck oh, is Oh, fuck me. Gold. Holy loses shit. 25. Z loses 40. Fiona drops 25. And finally Roxanne is my fifth. Like the, every time he wins, it's like they dropped it for me. It's like they just lost for... This dude is such a like egotistic, amazing piece of shit. I love it. Like the way he just goes and wins this. That's that is just so fucked up. Like I I understand why some servers actually banned death rolling. This is fucked up. Comfortably at four hundred gold. The win streak breaks on a thirty gold roll, and I roll for fifty with compound. He'd been death rolling for nearly two weeks. And shit. I it was starting to break him. When he lost this roll, he simply started. That is not meta. That is not even compound. Where is it? Uh, I don't see any compound in the group. Oh, there is a compound. It's offline. Maybe that is his ult. Fleeing. Naturally, I hunted him down and got my money. Holy when some shit. rogues then killed Jupes, I took it as a sign and ended the night at 420 gold. What? <laughs> that is a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. Get it and run. A few days later, I returned Jesus to Christ. the death rolling hustlers weren't to be found in their usual spot, but it was- Like, he has a name for himself, now. Like, everybody- I mean, Dombata is basically compound, okay, never mind. It's basically the same person who knows him. A few days later, I returned at 2 a.m., the death rolling hustlers weren't to be found in their usual spot, but it was not a good night for compound. Over a two-week period, he was down over 10,000 gold. He had oh, emptied no. his main, and now he was on his alt. Bro, this is sad. Compound rolled 750. Bro, how, who fucking rolls for 750 gold? You know how much time that is to make even for a mage? That's like at least... At least two or three hours of precise level 60 dungeon crawling. Or alchemy working on a populated server. 750 gold? He just rolled in an instant.
That is just fucking sad. Peddling away his last epic item, the Staff of Jordan. Fucking why? Why? Edible item with a 0.02% drop chance. After weeks of senseless death rolling, he was at the end of the road, broken and defeated. Dude, someone needs to stop him. This is just fucked up. This is this is abusing a mentally unstable person. This this is abusing someone who's addicted. Did I couldn't help but Please don't. This fiendish state. <coughs> he was truly at his lowest. God damn it. to sell his last treasured <coughs> item just so he could have one last hit of dopamine before he'd go back to solo farming hand of justice for 15 <laughs> gold per angle for kill. It, no. No! If you don't play WoW and that's all blibbly blabbly to you, know that he would have to spend many. I hustled this before. Girl, you, you're a fucking e girlfriend. You're like hustling me too. Like you're literally hustling him at the same time. What the fuck are you on about? Many hours of his life to even rebuild a fraction of what he wants. He can't, he can't, he's gonna quit. The moment he loses, knees, he quits. At his most vulnerable. And I thought to myself, give him nothing, but take from him everything. The staff was selling no. in the auction oh, house no. for 350 gold. Compound wanted oh, to no. use it instead of gold to roll against someone. His friends simply couldn't bring themselves to do it to him. I... <laughs> you know why? Because if the friends, it's it's the friends. If the friends get their staff, they have to give it to him. So the, for the friends, there is no gaining. As a friend, you can't just get your friend's item and fucking fuck off. You're a friend. You know, it's it's just painful. It's just painful. I knew I had holy all the leverage. shit. I told the broken man, I can settle on 160. All you would have to do. Is type slash roll Jesus Christ giving him the choice that is fucked up <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god oh my god yeah well shit that is sad this music reminds me of Han Shodan's music, bro. I tell these gentlemen, Fuck. it's been a pleasure doing business with them. And if you thought I was done, you haven't been paying attention. I told you, I don't fuck around. Compound starts taking gold out of his guild bank and racking up debt with his friends because he wants to win his staff back. I roll him for 50. <laughs> that's, that's so fucked up. And whatever was left of his soul got sucked out when he oofed a one out of twenty. Oh my god! He keeps losing. Whose night I clearly ruined. And on a one to eighteen, I take a hundred gold from this loser, resting pleasurably at five fifteen. I roll compound for another fifty. Luck finally seems to be coming his way when he hits a fat two. Sadly for compound, I'm a true legend of Azeroth, and I rinse him for another. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so unlucky. Why play the dungeon when you can play real World of Warcraft? <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, let's go all in. Wow, GF actually fucking destroys me for 50. <laughs> After which I go back to Ironforge. Funny enough, you're paying him, you're paying her or him to be your girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you're losing more. I go back to Ironforge. I roll Dwarman for 50 gold. I drop a two. He drops a two, two, two. I drop a two. two, two. Oh he yes. Is that folks? Holy he shit. To raise the stakes to a hundred. He drops a two. <laughs> two. Oh, no. I absolutely rinse him. With the that's like that's like at least seven hundred. Animal I am for the second time in a row. Now we're at seven hundred gold. There you I'll go. Do a smaller bet setting Fuck. me back to six seventy six, and then a day later. Whilst Compound was down gambling to this mean dwarf named Shorty, I sell Shorty the staff of Oh, that is cruel. Oh, that is cruel. Right under Compound's <laughs> nose. And that's how you <laughs> That is so cruel. But to be fair, Compound fucked himself in the foot. Ford your epic mounted level 55, bitch. 
900 gold earned in less than 10 hours. Go home, it's impossible. Gold farmers. Go get your epic, bro. Go get your epic. Holy shit. You're delusional. This is the only fun part of this boring ass game. That was like, he went from 2 a.m. to 12 p 12, like the noon after, noon the day after. Like, seriously, that is not a lot of gold to make in that hour. I admit, I felt Jesus a little Christ. bad when less than a minute later, Compound asked if I still had his staff. Yeah, dog. But I made it up to him by rolling him for another. <laughs> God, I love this game. <laughs> to cut a compound. very long story short, this is compound. It, dude, this is just this is fucked up because it's a disease. It's a disease. This, that dude needs help. I would go on to death roll every single day instead of leveling for the next week. <laughs> eh, you may not know this about me, but I'm very very impulsive Betty. and i'll have you know that even within the constraints of the youtube advertiser guidelines you might get away with saying that i have allegedly many years of experience with respectively online slot machines and texas holding okay and based on said imaginative experience i would hypothetically know that the only winning move here is to stop playing I somehow ended up at Get out, yeah. gold. That's F. <laughs> what? What? No fucking way. Dude, you, you stopped at 900. How the fuck do you have 1600 gold? That's after buying bank space. Fuck All you. The 16 slot Holy bags shit. I wanted, getting my crusader in. Enchant. Sending like 200 gold to my WoW GF just because I'm a pimp like that leveling up all my skills and paying compounds to farm hand of justice for, me for hours <laughs> after which i want all the money back i just paid him compound is a bro his, his mom needs to stop him from playing this shit for a Dude, man like him, that is fucked up is. he's simply in too deep but yeah there's still hope for me you see, I have dreams. Holy Things shit. I wish to do with this my dude life. is crazy. I'm not gonna be a nobody role playing dice for fake money in Iron Forge for the rest of my days, whilst my central nervous system grows ever less capable of regularly producing dopamine. <laughs> yeah. I have to rise above it. With every drug that shit happens. Buy my epic mount, clear molten core, get percentage hit gear, and respect to Fury Warrior so I can viably dual wield. Then I have to slay countless horde players and finally make a yes. pvp monster oh my god yes p with copyrighted <laughs> music then and only then can i out. truly become a legend of azeroth so i don't got time for this shit i got places to be and things to do i'm quick on my feet vicious some would even call me nimble and oh my god the fuck yeah velocity, he's getting legendary quite interesting holy Every shit race in wow has exactly the same base move speed Here's the myriad of things I did to change that. You remember when we did Alderman? That's when I started a quest chain that led me on a scavenger hunt across the world. I killed Grelborg the Miser in the Alterac Mountains. The cat went to Dust Swallow Marsh to kill Dagon the Ravenous. And finally, I journeyed to Stranglethorn Vale to kill Moog the Undying. At the level I was at, I no, described the process of soloing these elite mobs as awful trial and error. <laughs> yeah, After as a barrier. The, of Zilia, the hand of Dagon and the legacy heart to Garrick Bone Grip in Ironforge, I do the final part of the quest, Forbidden Knowledge, which led me to Theldrin in the Badlands. Completing the entire quest chain grants me the Skull of Impending. Yeah, okay, that's not that that's not that good. That's awful actually. Doom, which oh is an my god. That sucks your life force in exchange for Again, for a warrior, that's not an awful thing. But like Ooh, as a rogue, speed. that's just the base. Lands, I also completed another quest. You're gonna let it get true named, sprints. This is going to be hard. It was a very easy quest, which got me the nifty stopwatch. <coughs> trinket that increases my that is so much better. by 40% for 10 30 seconds. minutes! Then okay, that's not that good. The gnomish rocket boots. Got them enchanted with 8% extra movement speed. Oh, he's getting a bunch? Pop, Holy shit, he's getting a bunch? <laughs> he's getting a bunch of, like, movement items. Holy shit. Got them enchanted with 8% extra movement speed. And as the cherry on top, I got my... Wow, GF. So brew me some swiftness potions. Right? Holy After spending shit. that good handful hours of my life 
was the very moment I found out that these movement speed bonuses they oh. don't stack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot, bro! Always go to Valve and read the descriptions. People in the comments says the same thing. Like usually in the description of them, that's the thing. Use I mean, them. The use them. Work so hard man, for. other and bunnies uncool them. It dawns on me that I'm intensely untalented. Here's a great example. I jump down with a skull of impending doom because I want to look like a swag don gliding fast with my parachute cape. I completely forget to re-equip my weapon. I don't. You just have an offhand and unarmed. Holy shit! To round out this masterpiece of a wipe, Fucking I idiot. also pop retaliation whilst none of the mobs are attacking me. Nearing 300 hours of game time, and I'm still more often than not the sole reason why we fail miserably. Yeah. With the Eastern Kingdoms engaging That's in a so plethora bad. of territorial land wars, I decided to switch continents. <laughs> Jesus, that, that is... Were less Bro, that is terrifying and so cool at the same time. Look at that fucking undead. Get off of that wars, ram. I decided to switch continents and hope that the whole... No, that doesn't ram. That was a death horse. Death Ram, one of those things that is a skeleton, wars. right? I decided to switch continents and hope that the Horde were less prevalent in Kalimbor. <laughs> I no. went to Tenaris and killed an unreasonable amount of Thistle Shrub Dew Collectors to get the latent Dew Gland. Wowhead tells me it has a 13.65% drop chance, <laughs> and there's literally no way that's no, true. It's not. Until like 200. It's like 1.3% probably. After it finally dropped, I decided to undertake the closest thing to sell farm. Goddamn Toga. Has to offer Let's go. A cross continent escort mission. I walk Tuga all the way. That's one of the Mary, best ones, to be honest. To be reunited with his Tuga's tanky as fuck. Like, bro, worst, worst. Escort quest in the game is not the chicken. The chickens are fine because you know the chickens are hard. And the worst one is that fucking night elf quest in like the swamp of sorrows when he just walks in the fucking camps of enemies and enemies who debuff you for 30 minutes each. Dude, that shit. That shit almost killed me, like mentally, and broke me to the point of like just punching Offer the monitor. A cross Toga's fine. Escort mission. I walk Tuga all the way across Tenaris, only for him to be reunited with his wife, who's absolutely stuck up. Tells nah. Him to go get food and generally. She's like she's a Sundere. Soulmate. Then I turned in the latent dew gland, only to be informed that to complete this very special quest, I have to acquire a plant on the other side of the world. So I take my Hearthstone to Ironforge, travel to the hinterlands, and collect a mushroom from the bottom of a lake. Then I use my ultra safe transporter to teleport to Tenaris because absolutely fuck Menethil Harbor. Due to yeah. a minor malfunction, I'm turned into a troglodyte. <laughs> Once the yeah. troglodycia wears off, I make Sprinkle turn this mushroom into violet powder, and she tells me, Pleasure doing business with ya. I take the violet mushroom powder to Marin Nogginfogger, that. and right as I turn in the quest for the Nogginfogger elixir, I hit level 53, at which point I decide Congratulations. to start questing in Ungoro Crater. You can actually jump straight in there from Tenaris if you have the parachute Cape. <laughs> turns out, it you doesn't use. work when you're mounted. Now, when performed yep. correctly, the parachute cape will let you gracefully it's, it's gonna run out. In the air, avoiding the certain death of a high altitude fall. Although, if you do stress, yeah, it, it, mages and like everyone who uses parachutes or like a slow falling, bro, use it way later when you're in your class. Like, uh, yeah, like normal parachutes. Assess your physique against the harsh perils of gravity. Know that God. you can't recover your corpse, so enjoy 10 minutes of yeah. this sickness, fool. Another way to do it is to activate the cabot's head later, take a chunk of fall damage, and die to the pterodax. And finally, here's the actual way to. Bro, I, speaking of fucking dying, as when someone that you can't fucking revive. I died in North End on top of one of those trees in Scholzer Basin. Like, seriously, it was the worst experience. The, like, two hunters flew, flew on top of the tree and killed me while I was checking some stuff. On the, I mean, I was watching internet while stealthing on a tree. Like, sometimes you do that when you're, like, uh, farming rares. And they just killed me on top of a tree and there was no way to... Corpse, so enjoy awful, 10 awful. minutes of res sickness, fool. Another way to do it is to activate the cabot's head later, take a chunk of full damage and die to the Jesus pterodax. Christ. And finally, here's the actual way to perform the trick. Yeah, babe. I there we go. I calculated that with Never absolute mind. maths and perfect <laughs> precision. The joke's on me, though. I'll still have to wait for a Miri to corpse walk. 
<laughs> I love World of Warcraft classic, man. <laughs> yeah, corpse parking is just one of the worst parts of the game. Like, seriously? At least, at least you don't lose XP. Or some, like, harsher way of, like, punishing you for doing that. Because in some games, like, 7 days to die... Like, you lose XP. Like, the XP is already so fucking difficult to make in World of Warcraft, and if you lose it, that would actually put so much people behind. Angoro is thematically one of my favorite zones. <laughs> it's this jungle <laughs> Black so small. It definitely feels secluded from the rest of the world, and the vibrant colors mixed with exotic ambience absolutely immerses you for several minutes at a time, until you're corpse camped by disgusting horde players. I managed to finally escape them, only to have the worst questing experience of my life. I killed these tar lurkers that make you walk really slow. I picked up various glowing Konokai crystals, and then I Many rode of those. all the way to three different <laughs> pylons. All the colors you want the crystals in there. There's always the usual, extremely rewarding drop rate quest that can take Man. anywhere between four minutes Doesn't and two Emiro hours. Doesn't Emiro have a skinning? I traveled to the middle of the Angoro crater only to realize that was no place for a level 51 alliance God. player in phase two. Yeah. You need to be at least 58 for you to have a chance against a 60. But again, they have better skill spells, skills, like seriously, items, everything. <sighs> the only redeemable part of my time in Angoro was when I leveled my guns by practicing on various innocent, exotic animals. A brilliant <laughs> idea suggested to me by my carnal, ruthless, fantastic, World of Warcraft girl. Oh, she had alchemy. Okay, never mind. I thought she had a skinny because like those are skin. Every time I see a beast without getting a skin, I get like pro problems because Friend. I'm like the waste, waste of time, waste of money. Ten minutes later, in this cave, when I was frozen by a mage, the most insecure class in WoW. He seriously, escape with a they're awful. When I pulled out. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck you! Yes. That feels so good. And finally, this is the quest that broke me. I spent 10 minutes climbing the steep walls of the crater, determined to reach this bastard oh. quest that seemed so out of the way, only to find out that obviously it was in a cave and not up here. In retrospect, I suppose dropping out of high school might not have been an option or a choice, but rather just my path. <laughs> He's the shinx race there. Like, that is just ridiculous. To be fair, as a rogue, I can use a gun too, but using a terror is so much better because you get a skill for it. When I reach the quest mark Deadly the Blackvard, it turns out that it's a mech gorilla escort mission. But you need a mithril casing to activate it. The Your action house, get it. Flokia, he actually rinsed me, making me pay three Bucking that is a fair price. They're, they're expensive. He immediately activated the quest without me. At this very moment, I logged off World of Warcraft. A few days later, I was in Stranglethorn Vale with Amiri. I went to make a cup of tea and set my character to follow Amiri. When I came back, I was in a house. This bitch is thirsty. The like Gold seriously, Shire, holy ready shit! Ready to do whatever it is people do in Goldfire. <laughs> That's 69 uh, was ridiculous. Bill on. You already know I'm that guy. <laughs> After the authentic Blizzard experience crap. <laughs> what? Why put the character with the R? Sound, I leveled my engineering to 65 and crafted a robot chicken that can be summoned to slay my enemies. It's useless. Maybe. It's literally the useless. Mind control cap, which as the name suggests, actually lets you mind yeah. control a humanoid target. Your results may vary. It, it, it never everything, works. everything and, from Gnomish. And, and maybe some of the goblin stuff, they're all useless. Like, usually are useless. At least 2 to, to like, 10% no useless. No cloaking device, which lets me stealth to escape certain death. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I also acquire the goblin That is good, device, actually. That is really good. motherfuckers back to life. Sometimes. I then went it gets to better with that expansion. an annoying player named White Girl Uwu. She simply wouldn't stop bothering me, so I farted her in her. face. <laughs> she was pissed and wanted to duel me for my transgression. Holy we shit! We went outside Stormwind. I He's level two, seven, twenty-one. Brought her down to size and defeated her. <laughs> in the After which she took back everything she said, <laughs> having had my fair share of questing, oh, that's world good. PvP, and cringy role playing. I knew it was time for a real ass dungeon, one of the realest dungeons in the game. 
Black Rock Deaths is one of the best dungeons in World of Warcraft, and as much as I would have loved to shit on the circle jerk, and this dungeon is the best thing of all time in the whole world, it is really good, yeah, it is really good, but it can be difficult, so be very careful. You get in and you see there's a locked door, you need a key, and it's genius game design. You can a rock pick it? What's behind the door? Probably. It's replayable. <laughs> as much as I would love to shit on that circle jerk, they're actually right. It's a really fucking good dungeon. Yeah. It's fucking massive. There's so many different routes and runs you can do. Every section and boss is memorable. The loot is fucking incredible. It's not just- and it goes forever. Hitting. It's actually fucking difficult. It loops and around a lot. I have to admit that its replayability is absolutely extensive. Mm -hmm. I'd go so far as to say that it's replaced Dead Mines as my favorite dungeon. Of Since course, like that's the first- dozen times, My instead God, of showing Dead you Mines is nothing. Run, I'm gonna show you clips from respectively the one perfect run I did with my guild and all the other terrible runs I did with various <laughs> other people. Then you'll see the stark contrast between how it can be done and how it should be done. And get this show on the road already. The video's already half an hour long. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh no my and God, chill out. By going the wrong way and dying on the other side of the lava where you can't possibly recover your corpse. But That's still awful. walk all the way just to find that out. Then die again. Eat the rest sickness and corpse walk about 20 days. In the middle of horde players. Deaths to finally jump down in the right spot. Or, hear me out, you could go the right way instead of wasting your time. Optimally use charge and intercept to get as much distance as possible out of each corpse walk. Utilize movement speed and stealth trinkets to Holy effectively shit. enter the dungeon in under 10 minutes. You could die to the first pack of mobs you pull because you didn't wait for the patrol. <laughs> Why is every group with Emir is just the f like wipe immediately? And Emir is just the one then who's the not last there. Second, activate the gnomish cloaking device and get fucked anyway. <laughs> no, it's not that. It, I think it because he had a dot on you, so it damaged. And get fucked anyways, because it's terrible. Oh no, they just saw you. Works. Yeah, they saw you. Go through the walk of shame and. <laughs> Then you pull all the mobs and die again. And, uh, and you do that again. Or you could take on a couple enemies at a time and chill out without worrying since you're Are these the same? No, these are not the same people. Except Amiru. Oh no, these... Yeah, they, they got a paladin. That's the only thing that changed. And you see how better that is because he has the blessing of the might. And, uh, and you do that again. Or you could take on a couple enemies at a time and chill out without worrying since you're at the easiest part of the dungeon. Make it to the boss and tank him against the wall. Never mind, no the sweat. paladin sucks. In fact, why even do this part when you could run something efficient? Go straight to arena followed up by Angerforge. Great yeah. loot distribution for everyone in your party and a Seriously. shot of hand of justice. Oh no. Speaking of Angerforge, yeah, <laughs> you can fuck that up too. I don't you even can know fuck how we it's People don't understand. It doesn't matter how easy, how easy a dungeon a raid like a 10 man or 40 man is bro you can wipe at anything like seriously anything the game is just has so many bugs at this point even dungeons that sometimes even you need the bugs to clear out completely or sometimes they're just so awful that they you, you're gonna wipe you're gonna wipe people are gonna die hardcore deaths showed me that the best players can fuck up and die easily I'm in this room i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to die in this room pop retaliation <laughs> but you're gonna wait how did i even die there no one knows but why I, I... even do that but i did die <laughs> why are you even there where is everyone else <laughs> or oh. perform the lava skip why even fight all the trash mobs that drop garbage loot swim yes. through the lava look at my health look at my health watch what i do Ooh. here watch this Ooh, line you have a potion to be careful perfection fucking frame perfect shift gone shift gone now shit. congratulations and aggro all the grim patrons <laughs> this changing moves again this is so fucked up Lord of Warcraft is just under level that difficult sometimes we walk a reasonable distance to get to play God. the game again then walk in the next room and get decimated, making us walk a moderate. Open the relic vault, get that fat loot, bitch. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And right as we open this massive gate, we appropriately discuss the strategy for how exactly we're gonna clear one of the most serious DPS checks in the game. Or.
This is just, this is just a disaster ready to happen. <laughs> a troll. A fucking troll. Get out! <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Anyways, at yep. the end we kill Emperor Thorazen. BRD is a fucking phenomenal dungeon, and I'm definitely not done running it. You know what I did say? Everything's I was a mess with though? this guy. Death rolling. Holy gold, shit! Which is why it should come as a shock to you that I returned to Ironforge with no high-minded ambitions. I was just gonna go for maybe one or two small death rolls, just for oh, fun no. before going to bed. <laughs> just chill out oh, no. a However, I suppose you could say I made some. Bro, you have. Or bets and mismanaged my fun. Okay, that's not too bad. That's 400 gold. Swak doesn't flinch. I'm determined Must to win it dope. back. I roll most dope for 50, drop a 1 and 5. I mean, shit happens. That's not a 5. It's why 5? Why not go for 50? That's when he hit me with double or nothing. I tell him only if we roll for a hundred this time. Oh no. I almost Let's immediately go. lose it in exactly the same way by dropping a one in five. No! What oh the fuck? <laughs> That's 150 gold down the drain, considering that I was already This just a stop! Bro! Bro, every every penny, every penny you don't lose is win. Listen. Every penny you don't lose is a win! Ready down 400 gold, this wasn't an amount I could afford to lose. So I tell the man, double or nothing. I drop a cursed 4 on a 395. <laughs> that is just dead. And let's be honest, this really wasn't my day. I somehow won it all back, and I took that as a sign to go for a 500 gold death roll. Holy shit! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell! Holy, that his step happened so quick and he's down 500 gold! <laughs> At this point in time, that I underwent a lapse in judgment and went all in with my 900 gold. All or nothing. One final bet to end it all. Bro, <laughs> bro, what are you doing? <laughs> 27! Yeah. Oh no! Oh my god, this is so fucking lucky! Most stop is cheating! What the fuck? Oh Please! Oh god! Oh. I don't care what these people think of me. People are crying from behind! <laughs> is crying I don't care what these people think of me fuck this shit see you guys later oh <laughs> he just he jumped out and, and left then I logged back in to say one thing wait wait <laughs> wait dude, dude. he's oh, not gonna oh. pray <laughs> oh fuck yeah motherfucker yeah fuck your gambling ring bro fuck you holy shit this video oh my god Okay, that was really good. That was really fucking good. Dude, that video gave me so much anxiety. Holy shit. So, okay, so he 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 stopped at 900 and just dishonored himself and not gonna not pay him. Thank God because fuck that shit. That's awful. This fuck fuck up. But yeah, sorry for the middle of the video. The camera just stopped because I turned off the key there or something this bug there's just one bug here just killing me but yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe for now have a nice and goodbye everybody